be really rich, and you must have thousands of friends in America. So, what are you doing here, Kate Walker? I don't know. I'm miles from home, and I don't really know where I'm going. It's crazy. Yes, Kate Walker, but there are loads of people who don't know where they're going. And they are all crazy, too. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm going to Siberia. That suits you as a destination? Hmm. If one day you return to America, you must take me with you, Kate. Do you know who could show me how this coal machine works? No. It's an old machine, Kate Walker, and it smells. <laughs> Maybe there's someone who knows how this machine works? Not Circos. He's too small to press the button. <laughs> the Berghoff brothers, they must know. They know everything. But I don't like them. They are not nice. Why do you say there are bad guys here? The Borgoff brothers are liars and thieves. And they're nasty and they smell. Especially the little one that walks like a penguin. You shouldn't make fun of people, Malka. The big one isn't nasty, though. He's really stupid. A big dumb Yuki. <laughs> the Borgoff brothers could maybe give me a hand. Why not? They're as dirty and smelly as the machine you want to mend. Do you know a place called Siberia? It's a land. They talk about it in kid stories. It's so far away it probably doesn't exist anyway. From what I've heard, there's fields of blue grass as far as the eye can see. And mammoths. That's not right. Grass is green. Or yellow in the fall. Blue grass is silly. Either way is fine with me, Malka. You really are a strange lady, Kate Walker. I'm gonna see what I can find further on. Thanks, Malka. As you like, Kate Walker. Out of luck. The can's empty. I'm gonna see if I can find somewhere to fill it. A petrol-driven generator. Now where could I find some fuel? Good evening, sir. Good evening, milady, and welcome to the famous Circus Cabaret, haven of all known pleasures and human arts. How may I be of service to you? I've just arrived here. My name's Walker. Kate Walker. You have a charming little town. Uh, well, Miss Walker, allow me to wish you a charming sojourn in our charming town. Oh, I'm afraid I won't be around long. I've got to get going again soon. This is one strange town you live in, Mr. Sirkos. Only folks come to this town are folks just passing through. Often as not, cagey folk come here buying and selling or wheeling and dealing and having themselves a fine old time. After this town, there's nothing but snow, Miss Walker. Mr. Sirkos, say... Do a lot of trains pass through here? Not now. Of course, once upon a time, that line was quite a thoroughfare. Now, it's good as abandoned. People going to know you in town, Miss Walker. See you again sometime, Mr. Sirkos. Hope to see you back here to catch my horses in action.
Oh, honestly, oh, I mean to say, what an, what is it this time? Shut it, right? You hulking jerry roll, or else you'll be answering to me. And what is it now? Good day, sir. Don't go in telling me. <laughs> what can I do for you, ma'am? My name's Kate Walker. I just got here. A pretty little thing so far from home. Where are you from, lovebird? From... from New York. New York, eh? Hey, <laughs> well, I never... You travelling alone, ma'am? No, no, I'm travelling with two companions. I came by train. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> I need coal for my train, but the coal dispenser has run out of gasoline. I thought you might be able to sell me a bit of fuel. So, you're ready leaving? Sorry we ain't got no gas. Ain't got no gas at all. But what's that motor noise behind you then? Ah, oh, yeah. That works on electricity, see, miss? <laughs> and that smoke works on electricity too? Uh, see, uh, what you see ain't your business, miss. Take care of your own backyard and leave me and my brother here to work. Yeah. Leave Igor and uh, Ivan to work. But I need some gas, that's all. We ain't got none. N-O-G-A-S. No gas. N-O. No. Gas. Uh, no gas. No gas. Hey, sir, I really need some gas and... <laughs> Looks like you've got some here. Oh, patootie, don't know the meaning of no. As in, no, we ain't got none. No ga uh, no gas, no gas. Sir, I'd like to... Look, we ain't got no time to waste with you, sugar mitts. Try not being quite so pushy. <laughs> You're starting to give me and my brother ideas, right? <laughs> mm, I see. Be a pity if something nasty happened to you, my little pouty lips. <laughs> I came by train and... So we sewn, me and my bro. Nice machine. No, really. <laughs> no ration tin can, that baby, or no? Nice train. Nice. Nice. Doo doo. Uh, yeah, actually, it belongs to one of my friends. You must be very rich, your friend, eh? <laughs> Not really. He built the train to go looking for sight. Uh, I mean, to realize a kind of dream of his. Dream, you say? Hey, very interesting. What kind of dream needs a pretty train like that, eh? If it's not a personal question. A childhood dream. <laughs> tell me more, tell me more. <laughs> If I don't get some gas, I can't get any coal, and my train is just going to stay here, blocked in this station. And so what do you want from us? Seeing as you don't seem to want to help me. <laughs> you might have a point there, my flower. Goodbye now. No. Goodbye. Hey, no! No! Ah! You clam brain blubber bag! Wait till I catch you! <laughs> 